What does Google and have in common? Well, sometimes you type in a search query and after scrolling through 10 pages of results, you still can't find what you're looking for, so you exit out feeling lonely and frustrated. Okay, I don't know why that was censored. I said, what does Google and Netflix have in common? Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff. Come for the Google search tips for productivity and stay for these slightly inappropriate jokes. Diving right into Google search tip number one. When I was in the sales team, I used the related search operator to quickly look up my client's closest competitors. This was a great way to do background research in a short amount of time and note down features or functions missing from my client's websites. Search tip number two, use the site search operator to search within a specific website. For example, burnout at work, site, hbr.org, and you'll only see articles from Harvard Business Review. Pro tip for specific questions, I like to add sitequora.com, company reviews, glassdoor.com, stalking someone I wanna connect with, linkedin.com, and for a lot of my purchase decisions, siteredit.com. Although for that last one, I'm not sure if it's a smart thing to do or not. Google tip number three for productive professionals. Search by region or country by combining the search operator with a top level domain country code. For example, vaccine policies and resources vary by country, so searching for vaccine followed by site Dot .us would return different results versus vaccine site.fr France and vaccine site.de Germany. And for all my German viewers, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Huh? You can find the full list of the top level domain country codes in the Wikipedia article linked down below. Google search tip number four, find an infographic on almost any topic. Let's say you're preparing a presentation on a complicated subject like GDPR, the general data protection regulation that is over 80 pages long. You can type in GDPR in title infographic, no spaces, and Google will return all web pages that have the word infographic in the title. You can broaden the search by adding or in URL infographic, and this will now include URLs with the word infographic as well. Combining this with the site operator we went over earlier, we can type in something like sitebodybuilding.com, entitled diet, to really narrow down our search results within a specific website. Productivity tip number five. Use the file type search operator. If you're a working professional, this is a quick and easy way to find industry reports or research papers in PDF format. Pro tip, when I was in college preparing for management consulting interviews, I literally typed in consulting case interview, file type PDF to find free practice cases and corresponding explanations. Quick pause. When I was researching for this video, I typed in investment banking interview file type PDF, and I came across a super comprehensive guide from uh, Wall Street Prep, and it's under the mit.edu uh, domain. If you're applying for investment banking, sales and trading, or equity research roles, I highly recommend you go through this entire guide. This is legit. I know there are a lot of different file type extensions you can search for. I mainly use PDF and doc. I haven't found many use cases for other extensions like PPT, but let me know what you search for because I think I'm probably missing something. Google search productivity tip number six. Coming back to the in title search operator for a second, this is a great way to find articles or reviews in a specific year. For example, you wanna know the best laptop for students to buy this year. Simply type in in title 2022, laptop for students, and you'll find the latest reviews. Or let's say with a pandemic, the job search process has evolved, you can type in entitled 2022 job search to keep up to date with the latest tips and trends. Or you can save yourself the trouble and just watch my videos. You're welcome. Tip number seven is especially useful if you're looking for the latest tutorial for a product or topic, and that is to use the date range feature. Search for, let's say, Google Tasks Tips and click Tools, past year, and you'll see the most up-to-date information. Most of you probably already know this one, but tip number eight is to find images with transparent backgrounds only. In Google Images, search for something and go to Tools, Color, Transparent, and now you can copy and paste an image with no 
background. If you're looking for high definition icon images to download, I have a video teaching you how to find those for free. So check that out as well. Link down below. Back to search operators, productivity tip number nine is to exclude specific words or phrases using the minus sign. This is very useful when a search term has multiple meanings. For example, if you wanted to learn about the word meta before Mr. Social Network rebranded his entire company, you can type in meta minus Facebook. Google search tip number 10 is to combine the minus sign with the site operator to exclude irrelevant websites from your search. For example, while I love Caleb's hardware videos here on YouTube, I might wanna just read an article sometimes and would add in minus site youtube.com, no spaces, to do just that. Other common sites to exclude when doing research include pinterest.com and twitter.com. The last four productivity tips for Google are search operators I use on a daily basis. Very simple, very powerful. Starting off with quotation marks to return the exact match for a search term. <laughs> That's weird. Google must be down right now. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to this. You can use the asterisk as a wildcard search operator. Very useful if you want to search for a list of things, but you don't know the exact number you're looking for. The plus search operator can be used if you're researching a specific niche. For example, App Annie is a research platform that covers all types of mobile apps and games. If I wanted to get results for just shopping apps like Amazon and Shein.com, I will type in plus shopping after App Annie to get very targeted results. I've also found the OR operator to be a good catch-all when searching for multiple possibilities. For example, if you're applying to marketing jobs, you can search for growth marketing or content marketing or product marketing to see what the differences among them are and see which ones have the most openings. I'm sure I missed a few Google search tips you use on a regular basis, so let me know about them down in the comments. After that, feel free to check out my Google Chrome tips and tricks video. See you all next week. In the meantime, have a great one. <laughs>